Hello. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> My hair is wet and you know, there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. The fact that I can't edit this, or maybe I can, it's making me a little uneasy because it's like, oh, everything's gonna be just put out there. Okay, I guess I'll just start by introducing myself. I need to stop, okay. Um, my name is Janae, and I guess that's really all I gotta do, right? <laughs> Sarah, I suppose, um, gave me a few questions to answer, and then she also included that I could add any topics that I wanted to add. So I'll do that. I didn't really get to brainstorm before this, because it's just like every time I would try to think of something nothing would come out nothing would nothing would come out I have my like little my little office max you know the one and only with all my notes or like questions in front of me so that I wouldn't forget um the first one is, what do you like in a relationship? And what I first thought when I had seen this, or when she had first sent that to me, <clears throat> was, well, it depends what kind of relationship, you know? It depends, like, if it's, like, a friendship, if it's romantic, if it's, like, you know, family. So I, I like that it's, like, not specified. Um, so let's talk about friendship first. Um, what I like in a relationship when it comes to friends, I like when they're honest, and I like, I like when they're blunt, but not too harsh. I like when they're reliable, and, you know. You know, a friend is gonna tell you when you're when you're wrong, and a friend is gonna tell you when is gonna encourage you when you need encouraging. It's like they're gonna always be there for you. They're gonna it's gonna feel like a great bond. Like I feel like if you. If you're if you're friends with someone or if you're in a relationship with someone no matter what it doesn't it doesn't feel like genuine I guess then it's not right like you'll be speaking to someone or I'll be speaking to someone and I'm just like no I don't I don't I don't trust that person I just can pick up the vibe you know you know what I'm saying the sizzle that just they don't have sorry. <laughs> And I guess with relationship, it's sort of the same. They kind of have to um, start from where the friends start, of course, and then build that up from there. And um, I like when a relationship consists of understanding because you can't really succeed in anything if you don't understand the other person and where they're coming from because it's just always going to be in the back of their head whatever the problem is or just like what really can work out if you don't understand each other <laughs> what am i saying okay <laughs> the next one what do you like about other people okay this one it kind of goes with like the last thing i like when people are genuine and why because i don't trust people who aren't genuine just like you can see them do this and then do the opposite thing two seconds later and it's like whoa whoa who are you you know i don't trust putting giving you who i am if you obviously don't even know who you are wow that was deep 
my mother is home. She's gonna come here, I feel like. Anyways. Oh, I like when people are funny. I like when people can lighten the mood, keep it fun, you know, because... I don't want everything to be so calm and so dead. I want something to liven up my life, you know. But I also know, I also like when um, people know how to find a balance and want to take things seriously and want to admire the not so happy, exciting moments of life. Because all of it is what makes life so great you know you know you know <laughs> and I guess that goes for like not just what I like about other people but like what I like in a significant other I suppose but just having just I forgot what I was saying no cap <laughs> okay what bothers you about other people I underlined that did you see because it made me I had I had realized that recently that um that she's the word bothers and not dislike or hate, which I actually thought was cute. But what bothers you about other people, what bothers me about other people is when they're they have a harsh tone or when they aren't doing things they know they have to do in order to In order to go like through life, like in order to, for example, like I was like that a lot. I would just do whatever I guess benefited me. Like if something was uncomfortable, I wasn't going to, to involve mm -hmm. myself in that, uh, and it, whether it was a person or situation or a group or like a place. And seeing other people, I, like, I understand. I understand it. I understand it because I used to always do it and I'll still always do it. But you need to know when there's a, when there's, when there's a time for you just, you have to do what you gotta do in order to survive in this world. Like, I get it. I get both ways. So... Even though I understand that you're gonna wanna have you're gonna wanna cater to yourself, there are things that you gotta do in order to cater to everything around you and not just yourself entirely to succeed in the world. <clears throat> <laughs> I learned that recently. Sorry. Um and that's all her questions. She said I could add anything I wanted. And I wanted to add what is my biggest fear. My biggest fear would be losing what makes me tick. Losing my ideas. Losing my not fulfilling my potential i feel like because i have so much of it and i have so many like ideas and i just want to actually make them come to life you know as a kid I, I was always i was i would always do what i what i what i thought and i would always if i wanted to create something i would do it and i feel like as i grew up i started doing that less and you know, it's just, I don't, I don't want that to be my life forever. I want to work on that not becoming reality. I want to, I don't want to lose my creativity and everything that makes me happy. I want to do it. If that makes sense, like singing or acting or, or just like drawing or anything that, that I find that I love. Like I want to do it and not just think about it. All right. That is the end of this video. Was it too long? I don't know. You decide. You decide. I have a YouTube channel. Follow me. It's Janae Cruz. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I guess I never really know how to end things. So, I'm just gonna say what every normal person says. And that is, 
goodbye. <laughs> All right, bye.